how are you doing and welcome to my first travel video of 2018. It is currently 6am in the morning. I am in Luton, almost on my way to Slovenia. So thanks again everyone for voting. Don't forget to follow my Instagram for daily updates as well. And I think it's almost time to board. I am in the plane and apparently there is a snowstorm in Slovenia, so be ready for lots of snow. Keeping my fingers crossed because I do do love snow, so I will give you an update and now I'm going to try and sleep. So I did arrive and as I hoped for, it is snowing like crazy. Let me show you. It's so beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. First step is to find a, a shuttle to Ljubljana. So I think I can see it. Wish me luck. This is the hotel that I'm staying in. So let's have a look inside. Let's have a look. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, look at the bed. It's so nice. That's a, a lot of space, <laughs> that's for sure, guys. Look at this. Oh my God, this is so nice. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Hello. <laughs> this must be the biggest shower head I've ever seen. Look at that. <laughs> okay, also just to show you the snow again and the view. So there's an, an old little building there, which is beautiful. And then, well, it's basically a 360 view all around, which is really nice. More snow. I am now planning my day out in Ljubljana here. The lady at reception gave me a map and she circled all the important bits. So the lift up to the castle and all the good restaurants and the bridges. So let's see what we can find. I'm honestly so excited about the fact that it's snowing and this room is absolutely stunning. The link of Hotel Cubo is down in the description box. So if you wanna have a look and surprise someone by coming here, you know, have a look there. And I think I might change outfit because it looks very, very cold outside. And then I'm off to explore the town. come outside it is still snowing the castle and the mountain the mountain the hill are um, over there so I'm heading over there in front of me is a little ice skating rink left over from Christmas with very cool 80s tunes I have also forgotten a woolly hat so that is another thing I need to find let's go I mean I am pretty happy with my hat do comment below what you think thumbs up thumbs down or an emoji that expresses what <laughs> what you think also how beautiful is the snow i'm so happy like i said i've come to a restaurant called five to six kilos and it's been recommended by locals so i asked a lot of people there was different opinions some people say this is touristy this is good this is bad this was the one most recommended, so I shall give you an update on the food. Here is my lunch. I went for venison goulash with homemade gnocchi, and it smells fantastic. So I have to say, this is all I ever wanted and more. <laughs> when I grew up in Germany, we used to have goulash a lot. And this is, I still have to say, sorry dad, one of the best goulashes I've ever eaten. Cheers guys. Having some plum schnapps. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> but it was delicious. But yeah, not, not prepared for Slovenian uh, alcohol and how strong it is. <laughs> 
slowly making my way to the castle. One thing I notice is that this is the capital of Slovenia and for me living in London this seems so empty and I'm sure it's not and I'm sure it's just a normal Saturday but it's something I'm noticing which I wanted to share with you guys so it's crazy how I'm used to the buzz of London and I come here and I'm literally thinking where is everyone <laughs> whereas people who live here probably think like oh quite a busy Sunday I've come to the very famous dragon bridge. There's a dragon behind me there and there's four of them on the bridge overall. And apparently there's a legend that there was a founder of Ljubljana called Jason and he slayed one of those four dragons, which is why they built the dragons and why they called it Dragon Bridge. Yep. I did make it to the top of the castle. Look at those views. It is now the evening. I did make it down the mountain. Right now I am in a restaurant called the Soba 102, which was recommended by one of my followers on Instagram. So quite excited to see what the food is like. I will give you an update in a bit. has just arrived. I went for gnocchi with four cheese sauce, egg and bacon or pancetta and it looks so good. Again, I'm excited. Absolutely delicious. I love the cheese sauce. I love how rich and creamy it is. But I do have to say, the portions in Slovenia are huge. Comment below if you've ever experienced that or what your thoughts are. So right now I have a main and it's literally, it could be for two people. And earlier today, the food I showed you in the first restaurant was actually a starter. So um, do come to Slovenia hungry. That is my main point of the night. I will now try to finish my dinner. Wish me luck.